Hey, what's up, guys? It's Gatekeeper, and welcome to another short vlog. Um, just letting you know, giving an update that um, I found a job finally. I'm um, working as a cashier in Lowe's, uh, at Lowe's rather, in the Hillsboro location, one right by Home Depot for any of you Hillsboro locals. Come pay me a visit, maybe. Um, buy buy some stuff. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I finally have a job. I'm cashiering and been there three, four days now, and I'm I'm liking it. It's a lot more simple, I guess is, is probably the best word I can use for the for it um, than my last job. My last job, it um, I had never done anything remotely close to that type of work before. Um, I was working at a place called Novus Labs, um, just testing um, prototype devices for Microsoft. Basically, it's, it's as simple as that. Just prototype like Microsoft Surface devices. Basically, can't really go into more than that. I'm still under NDA, uh, non-disclosure agreement for I think up to a year, um, and I just wasn't making the cut there. Which, to my defense. I had never done that kind of vigorous testing that needed almost complete perfection for all the results. So I just wasn't used to that kind of workload under that much pressure, and it just didn't work out. I ended up getting fired. Which was unfortunate, but at the same time, it wasn't really suited to my skill set. So, kind of a blessing in disguise, really, is a good way to think about it. Um, but yeah, I'm cashiering at Lowe's now. Um, today, actually, the, uh, 1st of November. No, not November, my boys. Um, <laughs> stay strong. Uh, but yeah, 1st of November, um, first day I was out on the floor working as a cashier. Um, learning the system, actually helping out customers and whatnot. But the day before, um, on Halloween, actually... Uh, I was just working up at the customer service desk, helping with some returns and um, um, uh, veterans who wanted to sign up to get their veterans discount and just general customer service crap, which is fine. It's a great, really easy way to kind of ease into the system and there's a lot more downtime there because you're always going to have people who are going to the registers to check out and you know buy their, their wood and their hammers and whatnot. So there's always going to be um, someone needing to buy stuff, so there's not a lot of downtime when you're a cashier there. But just at the customer service, there's not a ton of returns that always come in. Um, usually they're kind of back-to-back, almost always, but there's a lot more downtime. Which is perfect, because it gave my manager a lot more time to really sit down with me and show me exactly how to use the system, which, by the way, is absolutely hilarious. The system they use, like their primary system called Genesis... It runs on MS-DOS. And for any of you old folks out there <laughs> who um, know what the hell I'm talking about, you'll know and you'll be as surprised as I am that it's still running off of it. It's a uh, heavily modified version of the of MS-DOS that's a lot more specifically suited to you know, Lowe's and their individual needs. And, it, I mean, it works. It works very well. It's, a, it's surprisingly secure. You'd think a very simple text-based operating system would be, like, the easiest thing to hack, but no, it's actually the opposite. Because it's been around for so, so long. It's had dozens of, like, security revisions, and it's just very difficult and very secure. To, it's just, it's perfect. And it works, so there's no real rush to have to change anything and get a, like, a Windows or a... Uh, maybe a Linux-based operating system that will be a lot more prone to crashes and just not, not a fun time. When And that's another benefit to having it run on DOS. Because it's been around for years, decades, it's stable. It is it is insanely stable. I mean, it's, it's crazy. Uh, it always works. It's very quick and snappy. You don't have a lot of graphics and fancy animations and flashy things and, ooh, special... That makes it slow down and makes the customer have to wait an extra ten minutes to get their stuff. It just, it works. And it works perfectly. And it's just, just really good so far. I'm trying to 
save up some money, save up a few of my checks, uh, start paying my dad some of the insurance money I owe him for car payments and whatnot, and just start building up my savings again so I can eventually get the hell out of this this here room. I mean, I love living at home, love my parents and all that, but I want to move out. <laughs> I don't want to live with my parents the rest of my freaking life. No one does. Um, and that's kind of another thing I just want to, you know, briefly go over for, for you guys, is that, um, my parents actually, um, uh, my dad has, uh, had some stock that he, uh, was feeling a little shaky about through Intel, so he's like, okay, just sell it, so he has a good chunk of money that he's putting away to purchase a, um, a rental property, a uh, rental investment, and he actually is going to have me and some of my other friends, uh, Michael Folks and Felipe, I believe, Felipe Rosales. I really should learn his last name. But Felipe, if you know who if you know who I am, I know who you are. You're awesome. Um, a couple of my friends, we're going to move out. We're actually going to be the owners. Well, we're going to be the renters. We're going to be the people who actually pay the rent. But my parents are going to be the one who, who legally own the dang place. We're just going to be the guys who live there. Which is great, because it means we don't have to worry about getting approved for credit or anything like that, which none of us have. Uh, we all just have no credit. We don't have credit cards or anything like that. Which is perfect, because that means we don't have to get credit and wait for years and years to finally build it up and then maybe get approved. And it's just, we don't have to worry about that. And it's great, because my parents, they know who, they know who I am, clearly. Um, so I don't have to worry about, you know weird land, uh, land uh, landlords or whatever, um, and it's perfect, I mean, it's not an apartment, it's going to be an actual house, it's going to be probably like a, more of like a townhome that are, those townhomes that are, um, like two units are physically like two halves attached to each other, so there's going to be a wall separating you and your neighbor, so you got to be a, li a little quieter, but I can live with that, <laughs> I can live away from home, which is the goal in life. I don't want to have to be here for the rest of my life. I want my own place. I really want that full independence, and eventually down the road, uh, after, you know, we start paying off the place more and more, and my dad said, by all means, if he feels I'm financially stable enough, and that I have proven responsibility, he'll just sell the place to me outright, and then I'll just take over complete and sole ownership, and that's the dream, baby. <laughs> that's that's where I'm wanting to end up at some point in my life because I want to be independent. I want to be completely my own person. I don't want to have to worry about uh, my mom and dad have have to do X, Y, and Z because I don't take care of blah blah blah. I don't want that. I mean, I'm 20 years old for God's sakes. I don't want to be in my 50s and like, uh, let me ask my parents. Uh, my dad takes care of the, the, the medications, whatever. I don't care about that. I want. I want to be the guy. That's my goal. So, but this new job, it's a good step. It'll be a good first, first stepping stone to help get me in the right direction in my life and be successful, for once. <laughs> um, but because of just because of my schedule for right now. Um, it's a little, little wonky, they're having me start the first week doing some earlier shifts and slowly start pushing me down to later shifts that are more towards close and then work me back to early shifts, um, for the first three weeks. And anything past that, I have no idea if it's going to be consistent, I don't know if it's going to be weekdays 9 to 5, and then I'm off on the weekends, or if it's just going to be random. I It could really be anything, and because of that, I might have to really rethink how I do my YouTube stuff. I will probably just kind of play it by ear, really, and figure out what would work best for both myself and for you guys, and find some sort of good middle ground. Because... I mean, work is important, no doubt. I have to focus on that first and foremost. Um, but it doesn't mean I want to just give up YouTube cold cur cold <sighs> I had a stroke there. Uh, cold turkey. <laughs> um, which because I love I love doing YouTube. I love making the videos. I love playing the games, doing the stupid shit I do all the, all the time on these videos. And I love editing. The editing is probably my favorite part. 
I mean, I love doing every single aspect of it, but editing is by far number one on my list because I want to be a, I want to be an editor. I want to be a full time like Hollywood level editor. I want to be the next the guy who edits the next like big Avengers movie or something. No, they're not, I don't know, or just the next Marvel movie, just the next big movie. I want to be the guy you see edited by Michael Naradki or maybe like even as far as, like, director of photography, just those kinds of things. Something behind the scenes sort of thing is kind of where I'd like to be long, long, long term. But with that industry, it's more experience-based than, uh, you know, like having certifications. It's all kind of, you start small. I mean, a lot of people started with YouTube or, uh, I don't know, maybe Vimeo or some other, like, video services. Just making really simple stuff, making little sketches and eventually getting enough of a following and getting a little money so that they can make like a, I don't know, like a short movie or something and taking it to some film festival, getting noticed by some higher up for like, I don't know, the, some, maybe some local, local f uh, movie studio or something and then just kind of going from there, up and up and up, um, just knowing, knowing people and that sort of thing. I'd love to do that. That's that's my dream job is doing editing. I'd love to do that. And uh, this is definitely a good step to help you get there. So, very excited. Um, just making sure you guys are kept in the loop. I do apologize for uh, not for not having posted anything in a while. I've kind of been busy you know, looking for work. And also, finally getting it, and now that I'm starting to get a little more settled in, over time I'll start, uh, once I'm getting more familiarized with my schedule, definitely, then I'll start kind of playing it by ear and making videos and that sort of thing. I'll probably, if I need to, just after work every day, maybe record one or two videos. Whatever my schedule happens to be. Um, record one or two videos, uh... Maybe edit one if there's enough time. I can get enough sleep between shifts and whatnot. Um, if not, then maybe the next day after work. Maybe I edit videos. Or maybe on my days off, what I would do is edit the videos. I think that might be best. So that I can put in my full attention on all my time into making really good, solid edits. I think that actually might be what I end up doing to give you guys the best quality that I can. Because... I do want that, and I hope that I'm able to move out relatively soon, because I'm kind of tired of using this this headset and the built-in microphone. It's it's uh, not the best of quality, I'm sure you've noticed. But uh, once I have my own place, I want to have my full top-notch gaming setup for YouTube and everything. I'm probably going to have a... Um, I'm eventually going to invest in just nicer YouTube-related things. I might... I'm sure there's some things out there um, that add, like, specific buttons that give different functions that I could use for OBS. Because there's, there's a lot of different things I never knew I could do that would actually be very useful in the long run. Uh, for example, I'm actually going to show you right now. I think I could just do it while I'm recording. I haven't, I haven't tried this, but I'm curious. There are... Uh, Different things you can do, there are, uh, diff you can have different scenes, so the one that I use normally for game captures, I have my webcam up in the corner, and then whatever the game is, is the rest of the screen. That's one scene, and then I have another scene, which is this one right now, that I'm using to record my webcam, which is that, it's just the webcam, and nothing else. So you don't want, if I'm just talking to you through the webcam... There's no point in having the rest of the screen, so you, it, I don't want to have it a little, little tiny up in the corner. No. I want the full thing so you can see, really see what I'm talking about, what I'm expressing and whatnot. Um, but there are different scenes. And there are different key, like you can set up all sorts of different like keyboard shortcuts and whatnot to just quickly change the scene. And I believe I can just do it while I'm recording, so. This is the first attempt. The first attempt, I actually don't know what will happen, so. Looks like I just transitioned automatically uh, to, yeah. So that'll actually be really useful for recording videos so that, like, at the end of the video, I don't have to do a weird cut and then maybe have another, make another recording of just the outro, like, thank you guys for watching, blah, blah, blah. 
I could just immediately be like, well, that, uh, I'll wrap it up here. Thank you guys for watching. And just do that transition. I never knew I could do that stuff. But the problem is, is with the keyboard I have, there's only, so there's only so many keys you can use. Which I would like to eventually get, uh, maybe some other Razer or maybe a Corsair keyboard that has all those macro keys that are dedicated specifically to be made for custom usage. So they're not just standard keys. Which is perfect because in a lot of different games, maybe a key that I use to uh, switch the scene or maybe to stop the video does a function in one game. So I'll stop the video but then I'll like punch or whatever the case happens to be. So, And if I have those macro keys, it allows me to expand and have a lot more options for other things. It just would work out well in the long run, but that's just me thinking about what, what could be, so, but, um, I do like this, I do like I can just switch, it is, uh, very nice, <laughs> but, uh, alright, well, this video's, uh, getting a little close to 20 minutes, so I'll, uh, probably go ahead and shut up now, but, uh, <laughs> kind of let, let me know down in the comments, kind of, what your thoughts are, what, if you have any ideas for me, uh, maybe for games you think I might, I should try out, or, uh, if you want to see me do other things that aren't gaming related, I mean, just just have an or just have a chat. How was your day today? I don't care. Just give me give me some some to talk with you about. <laughs> I want to get really really close with my with my subscribers. So so I want to build up kind of that repertoire of of fans and all that. But yeah, just give me something in the comments. I don't really care anything. <laughs> have a have a have a conversation. Have the, how's the weather today? Oh, it's lovely. It was 25 degrees this morning. It was cold as shit. I don't know. Have fun. We'll have some fun. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I'm going to go ahead and leave it off here. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. I will try to make, uh, probably after work tomorrow, record a couple of couple new games. I want to try to switch it up and not do just Doom or just, just one game right after the other. I want to switch it up a little. You know, but, uh, yep, uh, thank you guys for watching. Do remember to like, comment, subscribe, the whole shebang. And I will see you in whatever the next video happens to be. Uh, you'll, you'll find out whatever that is when you click it, so. <laughs> Alright, you, uh, have yourselves a good rest of your day, everybody.